What's up guys, Long Wolves Forever here and today I'm going to be doing a few gear reviews on some new gear I got. Uh, I know I have been putting out a lot of videos as of late and just kind of just wanted to jump on it when the first chance I got when I got some new gear to do some reviews. Um, but I'm not going to hold that up any longer, I'm just going to jump right in and get started to it and obviously I don't know what I'm going to name the video yet but you'll already tell by the video what it is. Um, just, I've been trying to push myself into ultralight gear lately and I know some of the, you know some of the stuff that's found on Amazon and everything it's either kind of sketchy or cheap and doesn't work or it can go all the way up from the true ultralight stuff being you know so expensive like uh, a lot of the high-end brands that are out there now this is a desert and fox titanium ultralight mini stove that's exactly what it's called on Amazon. So if you want to go check it out, you can just type that in. You should be able to find it or just type in your know, ultralight stoves or something like that. It should pop up. Now, I know there's a whole bunch of those uh, ones that are all, like, every single one looks the same. But they all got different brands on them or names on them. Pretty much me, they're all the same. I didn't really want one of those because, eh. Well, I'll explain why I got this in a second. But, I mean, for the size, I mean fits in your hand i mean you can compare to the coleman peak stove this is night and day comparison as far as weight size even price i mean this these are 12 dollars on amazon for singles um 20 for two pack so if you know you wanted to get an extra one to have around or another one for another pack or an edc kit or to gift somebody great idea for this this one was 15 because i bought a dual fuel adapter which i'll go over in a second um now this is, like i said it says this is titanium i doubt it because it says it's mixed with uh titanium copper and stainless uh, i would say the quality isn't really bad but i don't think it's titanium uh it Honestly, it feels more like aluminum, but I've been uh, playing around with it a little bit last night. It works really well. Uh, the seals don't leak. Um, I am going to vigorously test this through the uh, the summer and see how it holds up. And hopefully, it does well in the winter too. But um, we get started on showing the overview of it now. This little stove right here packs down so light that even in this full pot here, which has my alcohol stove and some various cooking stuff, it still fits in there. And to further this, I'm going to do a size comparison. It's a big lighter. It's barely the size of a big lighter. This thing weighs 1.5 ounces or... 45 grams as it says on the box very lightweight very compact i mean if you can carry a big lighter you can carry a stove now of course you know you got to carry your fuel with you and all that which i opted to get and i recommend getting one of the, these small cans one of the 110 gram cans um you'll get a good amount of volts off of them but it saves some weight um and also saves a little money too depending on where you're at but it, it keeps weight down low, especially if you're going for the more ultralight route, which is the reason when you get something like this. Or, you know, even if, you know, you got an inch bag or whatever, or bug up bag, EDC bag, get home bag or whatever, this would be perfect to go in it. You know, I mean, it's small, lightweight. Even, you know, if you have another stove with you or whatever, you know, a backup, you know, it never hurts, especially with how cheap they are. Now... The openness, it's a little weird because you got to do them in a sequence almost to avoid hitting the other ones. I'm trying to do this the best I can with one hand. Where you set up, there's no ignition source on this, which it really doesn't matter anyway. A lot of stoves don't have them. Now, when it's folded up like this, just remember when it's up like this, the valve is open. So to close it, turn it about like that and it pops out. So there's your gas valve. I um, mean, and you can set this up fairly easy. 
Now I'm gonna go over the fuel right now. Now, being that I said that this had a dual fuel adapter, which it does, this little thing right here, it just screw, uh, screws on to the bottom like it would here. And that's where you uh, adapt your other can. Now I assumed that this was gonna be a one pound propane adapter, but it turns out it was a butane adapter, which is fine by me. Because this stuff here is fairly cheap. It's easy to find in all, all stores. But it also gives you the advantage to have more than one fuel to use. Like, I'm sure we've seen, you know, the last couple months and everything, propane and everything, you know, becoming in short supply and everything. And I've noticed it too that a lot of these canisters have been, you know, kind of short supply lately. Or, you know, even if you go into a place, you know, where they, uh, like a Walmart or something, and they haven't restocked, you don't have this fuel. But they have this. You can use it. I'm also going to try to get the one pound propane adapter so I can have, so I can use all three fuels. I kind of strive on having that multi use, like my um, alcohol stove and everything. With my uh, Lexenda folding stove, I can burn solid fuel, alcohol, and wood. So I kind of like having that redundancy a little bit. Um, but I mean, this is a good feels like good quality adapter it doesn't leak all it does is just put it on and yeah, it's kind of hard to do one hand because this is a pressurized can but just put it on give it a little twist and that's it it's on obviously it's better to be on the stove when you do that I'm gonna get everything set up, go over. I'm not gonna do, um, I might do another video after this where I compare the two fuels, see which one burns better or hot or whatever. And then I might do something, you know, in the future where I compare the different brands like GSI, Coleman, Jet Bull, NSR, stuff like that. Uh, now, you don't have to get stoves like these. I understand that, you know, sometimes people believe that, oh, they're che that cheap, whatever it is, you know, they're just junk, they're not gonna work. Not necessarily true. Um, now, if you want to go get the high-end brands, you want to get MSR, Jet Bull, and all that, go right ahead. You know, no skin off my back. But to me, those are just overpriced. Some of them are heavier than these. I mean, when this stuff right here works just as good. Now, I understand, you know, some people are working on budgets, uh, limited income, especially, you know, now of all things. Um, these are fairly good to get and very cheap. Now, I know there's, un uh, there's probably cheaper options out there on these stoves than this. You know, on Amazon, eBay, and whatnot. Um, but, you know, I mean, whatever works for you, that works for you. This is just something that I, I picked up because I wanted to try it. Um, and it looks like I'm going to be using it for a while if it holds up fairly well. So let me, uh, I'm going to start with this one, then I'm going to go to the uh, butane. All right, there we go. I mean, with this little can, it's a, it, it feels so odd seeing it so little i mean especially when you compare it to the uh 220 gram coleman can and the peak stove i mean it's just it's like night and day with these things i mean it's so so tiny let me open these up right here I mean, just th th that size difference is just, I mean, I and I truly believe the, uh, the uh, saying, you know, um, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. If I had the choice, I'm taking this one over this one. I mean, just because I can do the same stuff with this than, you know, having the extra weight. Um, and the difference in this right here is this is gonna, this uses like a regular little burner. This is gonna act like a jet stove. So let's fire it up. All you do right here is just crack the nozzle a little bit until you hear a hiss. There you go. You can't see it because I'm just going to burn fairly clear. But you can all see here, it's uh, almost like a jet, or exactly like a jet stove. Ooh, ain't it? It puts out some heat, I'll tell you that. And, I, and you'll probably think too that, oh, the uh, the stands don't hold up to anything. The stands hold that. And this is full, this has weight in it. 
And I'll even go as far. It'll hold a uh, one liter uh, pot. Oh, well, it is a little unstable there. Hold on, let me redo that. Holds that pot. Just like any other stove would. Now, I don't know how well the butane can is because, I mean, obviously this is a smaller can than this one, so this one's going to be probably a little bit harder to level out, really, I guess. But I, I got a good feeling it should work. I put it on everything. And, you know, this little can, uh, uh, adapter here, it doesn't leak. You know, it's not sketchy. It's not going to blow up in your face. At least I hope not. Um, but it seems fairly well built. I mean, it works as it should. So I'm going to get this set up, and then I'll come back. All right, now I'm going to try to do this one-handed just to show how it works. Oh, hold on, I actually, it's closed right now. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So all you do is this right here. You line it up with that little mark there. Pull it and twist. And that's it. Lightweight, easy. Good to go. And oh, I got the camera the wrong way. Uh oh, that's gonna mess it up. Well. Well, I hope it's a pot like no, uh, normal. Now this is on a level surface here. So I would say if you're on probably an unlevel surface or on unlevel ground, Probably best bet is to put something around this can if you're going to be using these type of cans. Or maybe dig a little into the ground and put some rocks or dirt up around it so it would hold it stable. Let's test it with the one liter pan. Works as it should. Now, uh, I'm going to try to put the link in below if you want to go check this out. It's uh, like They're very cheap, good quality. I'm going to do a test. Um, oh, I didn't introduce it. Uh, let me show you how it works here. Uh, the same like a jet stove. Now I'm gonna do in the next video I'm gonna do a bit of a bowl test, but that's just to compare the differences in the fuels. So you'll see how good this stove acts there. But that's about it. You know, usual like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos, and I'll catch y'all next time.